Hello everybody, it's 3 and 425 here, bringing another video, and today we finally got a Tua Tagovailoa interview, so I'm going to be breaking down what he said, what he wore, and everything about it. But before we get into it, make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and to subscribe for Dolphins content now and throughout the entire season. So we finally got to a Tua interview today, and it was something that we've been wanting for a long time. He did come out in a Dolphins jersey, however, it was not his own he was wearing Ryan Fitzpatrick's jersey, number 14, and I guess a way to troll the fan base because, you know, we want a picture of him in his jersey. He gave us one, just not his. Uh, it was Ryan Fitzpatrick's. So I'm going to be going through here, looking at what he said, his exact quotes on, you know, certain questions that reporters were asking him. So one reporter asked to uh, how is it adjusting to NFL life? He said, it's a different learning curve than I'm used to at Alabama. Not as much time on the field. We spend a lot more time watching film than anything else. Not to say we don't get time, but it's more in your meeting rooms than watching film. Maybe this is because of the corona thing, that they aren't practicing as much. But yeah, the NFL, you're, you're watching film, seeing the defenses, seeing how to dissect the defenses and what to take advantage of, because there are very little things that you can take advantage of. And I guess it's expected in the NFL to, for the players you know, to have the fundamentals down and just to work on very specific things. So I guess that's why they aren't on the field as much. But then again, you know, training camp just started, so he might not, you know, he's been used to being in Zoom meetings, watching film and talking to people instead of actually practicing. That could change as time gets on. He was asked, what's it like getting acclimated, you know, to the NFL and to the Miami Dolphins? Um, he said, I'm in the process of learning, understanding Chan's offense, the, off the new offense coordinator. That's who that is. It's a friendly environment with Chan and the other Q Q QBs as well. So he's having a good time with, you know, talking to the offensive coordinator, the QB coach, uh, his, you know, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Josh Rosen. He's getting along well with those guys and his coaches, which is always a good sign and a good start to a career. This is Tua on Dan Marino reaching out to him after the, he was drafted. He said it was super awesome. That was cool. And that Dan is a super down to earth guy. Um, Dan Marino, of course, reached out to uh, Ryan Tannehill when he was drafted. I think he kind of, you know, just does that as a member of the Dolphins. I think he has his hands, you know, in the top of the organization. He's friends with Stephen Ross and stuff, and I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if he becomes a part of the organization at some point. A little surprised it hasn't happened yet. So, you know, it's good for him to be talking to Tua, but I wouldn't, know, take too much off of it because he did that to Ryan Tannehill as well, and I'm sure maybe even Josh Rosen. So this is Tua on people's expectations of him. My focus is just on trying to understand what we're doing offensively and building relationships with the guys on the team. Flo, Chan, Robbie, they're going to put the team in the best position to win. So right now, he's not worried about getting that starting job. I'm sure in the back of his head he is, but he's right now he's trying to learn the offense, learn his teammates, learn what his coaches expect of him, and just to become a better football player every single day. That's what you want to hear. You don't want to hear the guy talking about you know, winning the starting job or anything, just becoming a better football player every single day, and that's what Brian Flores expects of his players, and he's going to put the best ones out there. So if he is in, ends up getting better to run Fitzpatrick, he'll be out there. So I, I understand why he's focused on just getting better, but it's good to see him not worrying about that starting job, at least not coming out and saying he is. He could be in his mind. He could, you know, I'm sure he wants to start. But hopefully it's not you know, dragging him down or you know worrying him in any way. Tua says about his upbringing and background. Football intertwines with my Samoan culture from Hawaii, I believe it is. Both are based on respect. Tua says, I'm sorry, when you get chewed out, you learn how to eat it. So this guy's a guy that's not going to get mad if you're yelling at him or if you you know expect him to do better. There are players in the NFL who have egos, and if you tell them you know you're not doing something right, they're going to get mad at you because they believe they're you know one of the best and that they're doing everything right. So it's good to see out of your young quarterback that he's he's ready to learn. He's going to take what you say, and if you chew him out because he's not doing something right, he's going to take it and he's going to learn from it. He's not going to get mad at you. He's not going to hold it against you. And I think that's one thing you know we all liked about him was his character and his worth work ethic. And I think those two skills translate very well into the NFL. This is Tua on his relationship with uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick. It's kind of mind-boggling how down to earth he is. I don't know what it is, but he gets it. The saying says, if you want to get it somewhere fast, you do it alone. But if you want to do it with purpose, you go with those that support you. You know, looking at Ryan Fitzpatrick off the field, he always seemed like that kind of guy. That'd be nice and chill. Um, just the way he plays, the way he goes about himself. Yeah, sure, he's making millions of dollars, but he does seem like a kind of guy that would just, you know, have a beer with you if you asked. Um, so it seems like he's getting along very well with Ryan Fitzpatrick and that, he, you know, he understands that he's going to be his support for this year and to take it, you know, whatever it is. If, if Ryan Fitzpatrick take, starts 16 games, then they'll learn every second of it, you know, take all advantage of all that 
uh, experience and stuff and just become a better player for it. And it's, it's good to see that they have a good relationship. Ryan Fitzpatrick is going to be an excellent mentor to him. It's a lot different than having like a two or three year starter. This is a guy who's been in the league for a long time. So, you know, it's good to see. Two on the possibility of this season not going off as planned. Our whole team would be bumped. This is something a lot of people work for. It's our job, sure, but it's our dream to get an opportunity like this. So as you can see, Tua really, really wants to play. Um, I guess that kind of goes back to the whole thing. He probably does want to start. He wants to play football, obviously. Um, but I think just being out there as with his team and, you know, experiencing the game and getting better that way, I think that's, you know, huge. And I, I you know, I hope, and I'm sure we all do, that the NFL season happens safely and uh, on time. It's going to be bumps in the road, but even looking at the MLB, they had two teams that were pretty much all coronavirus, and they're still going strong. Um, so it's hard to say, and I think the NFL will be stronger than the MLB is. And, um, you know, I don't think that shield is going to break. That's what, uh, uh, what's his name? The commissioner always says, you know, well, like him or not, but he respects that, the integrity of it. So that was pretty much all two I really talked about. Um, what I get from this is that, you know, he's a hardworking, uh, a good kid. He's an amazing, he's an adult. It's, he's about my age. He's a good man. So I think he's going to learn. You know, I think he's going to learn from Ryan Fitzpatrick. I think he's going to learn every single day in practice and just continue to get better. I mean, that's what we're hoping for, right? He's not going to win MVP this year. He's not Patrick Mahomes. Um, but if he continues to get better at week in and week out and the next year really puts it, puts it on the gas pedal, man, then we have a lot, a lot to look forward to. And I just love his mentality. Now all we're waiting for is that picture of him in his Dolphins uniform, not Ryan Fitzpatrick's. But anyway, guys, what do you guys think about Tua's interview? Are you excited for him? Obviously, I think most of you are. Let me know down in the comments below. Please remember to subscribe if you enjoyed. I will see you guys next time.